car is equipped with the dad's breath system. You almost can't tell the difference between this car and the one you've got at home. By the time you start the engine and put on your seatbelt, the DAD system is measuring the blood alcohol content in your breath. These lights will tell you if you're good to go or over the legal limit. If you're over the limit, the car won't move. People who have been drinking have um, alcohol on their breath, so that when they breathe out, they, there are ethanol particles that are in the air and, and this device tests those, uh, tests the air and measures the alcohol concentration. In a traditional breath alcohol detector, you have a, a mouthpiece, the, you have to hold the device in your mouth, you have to give a very deep breath. The dad's breath device um, uses infrared light to detect uh, ethanol, the alcohol, but also carbon dioxide, which people naturally breathe. Um, to measure how dilute the air is when it gets to the device. So we are able to measure very accurately how much cabin air versus uh, lung air gets to the sensor by measuring the concentration of carbon dioxide and from that determine their blood alcohol or their impairment level. With the 4.0, we've increased the sensitivity uh, and, and precision of these devices enough that we believe that they will work effectively passively. So it, just it, the natural breathing that somebody does as part of getting into a car will be enough uh, that these very sensitive and accurate uh, devices will be able to detect the presence of alcohol on people who have been drinking and, and that this, this will be able to be done without inconveniencing or interfering uh, drivers at all. They, they won't notice that they're there unless they've been drinking. We believe that 4.0 will be the product that, that will be consumer ready. And once we've done that validation, we can say, yes, we have a reference design that we can give to car manufacturers and it'll, it'll work. And we've put a ton of work into this. It's been a, a, a consuming, exciting, frustrating process. And to see that actually come to life and, and to, you know, save lives, which is really the whole goal of this project, will be uh, very fulfilling. We know that you'll have questions, and we want to answer them. So email your question to skipchurch at axeautosafety.org. Until next time, drive safely, and remember, never drink and drive.